Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be Women Love Men with Confidence. Well, I've actually got three short emails that, that I'm going to go through with three different guys who are doing things that are exhibiting signs of anything but confidence here, and that's obviously why they're struggling with the women that they're with. One of the guys, it's he's failing to make a move. Another guy, he's acting like a friend too much and not making dates and the other one is going out with a girl that told him that she only wants to be friends but he's just not seeing that it's like he's completely ignoring what she tells him she's being honest with him but yet he still thinks he's got a chance with her so before we get into it I got a email or a quote I'd like to share with you it says women love men who are confident and go for what they want without fear when a man waits too long to ask for a date, go for a kiss, or dithers instead of taking action, he will appear weak and unmasculine. Masculine energy is about purpose, drive, mission, succeeding, accomplishing, breaking through barriers, achieving goals, etc. A man who hesitates and acts unsure of himself will get rejected, just like young male animals in the wild will get rejected by the females of their species. To hesitate and allow fear to diminish you is the exact opposite of what a man is. Women are naturally attracted to masculine strength, not weakness. Well, if you've ever watched National Geographic and you've watched some of the mating rituals of animals, you'll see usually like there's a, I remember a documentary I saw a couple years ago. There was a, uh, a female lion and there were some younger male lions that would try to mount the back of her to have sex with her and she would just kick them off and you could just tell by watching these young male lions that they're walking around her very unsure of themselves very timid and they were acting they weren't acting dominant at all and she just would kick them off and growl at them and sne sneer at them and and it's like you can watch that same behavior with guys whether they're at a nightclub or at a social event or out in public they see a girl they like and they just kind of dither around and they don't really get to the point and it's be, it's very obvious to the women and anybody else that knows what to look for watching this that these guys are not going to be successful if they finally do work up the nerve to approach her. That's why when you feel something or if you feel an attraction you see a woman you like and you want to approach her, you need to do it. If you just sit there and hesitate and pace back and forth for 10 minutes and then you approach her, she can tell you don't have any confidence and you're going to get rejected. So let's get the first email. A guy says, I have a question about a girl I like and she told me she is interested but wants to be friends. That means she's only interested in being in friends. He says, but she tells her aunt when we are out that we should come over and I say, does she know that I'm coming? Her aunt says yes and she only wants to hang out with me because there was a guy she likes we were playing a drinking game with and her sister sits, says, sit here next to us, which I did. And I sat next to her, but she keeps telling just friends, and I'm confused on what she wants. It's like, dude, how could she be any clearer? She only wants you as a friend, and you're seeing what you want to see. You're projecting your attraction onto her, and you're ignoring the fact that she's saying friends only, friends only, friends only. He says, I text her, and she replies sometimes, or sometimes she doesn't and she asked me to borrow a hundred dollars oh now she's figuring because she's already jerking you around hey maybe I get some money out of this guy he says and your book said not to so I guess I have been friend zoned he's like yep she told you that from the get go and you just ignored it he said should I just move on he said yep he said should I just man up and ask her out on a date instead of being being around as her as just friends you shouldn't do anything. You should walk from this girl and never look back because there's nothing's going to happen with her because you've already acted so weak in the past. Plus, she just obviously doesn't like you because she told you from the get-go she's only interested in being friends and you went along with it. For, you didn't say how long, but obviously for a significant period of time, you went along with being friends only, hoping that she will change her mind. And So you're all hung up on somebody. You're nothing. She's not reciprocating anything with you and this totally cuts you off from any possibility of meeting somebody who's single and available and who's actually interested in you to start with. So the second email I got from a different guy, he says, hey there coach, 
First of all, I'd like to say thanks a bunch for all the cool videos on YouTube. They've helped so much. I started dating and there's this girl in particular that caught my eye. Long story short, I've been on two dates yet and I have not kissed her yet. You're already fucking up, dude. You should go for the kiss on the first date, at least at the end of the date. But maybe in the middle of the date, maybe you're at a bowling alley together or maybe you're shooting pool or maybe you're throwing darts or something. Or maybe you're walking down the street and she starts bumping into you or touching your your arm as you're standing close or she's playing with her hair. When a woman starts touching you, that's the sign that touching is appropriate. That's when you make a move and go for the kiss. And if you don't see those things at the very – at least at the very end of the date when you either walk her to her front door, if you've actually picked her up or if you're walking her to a car, if you met out someplace, you got to go for the kiss. If she doesn't kiss you on the lips, she doesn't have romantic interest in you and you know never to waste your time. And here you are. You've gone out multiple times and yet you don't even know she's really interested in you because you haven't even gone for the kiss yet. And the longer you wait, the likelihood is that you're going to get rejected continues to rise. So he says – he says, but I, you know, after he says he hasn't kissed her yet, but I have complimented her meaningfully and not acted needy or anything else like that to turn her off. Well, your compliments are going to come off as a bribe for sex because you're not man enough to go for what it is that you want. He says, I last saw her yesterday and was thinking of setting up a date in three days. When should I contact her and also how should I handle the date? Well, if you read my book, you know, you should start out just going out on once a week. He said, in terms of kissing, I've already had contact such as touching her arm. Well, so you're touching her, but you're not even paying attention to whether or not she's touching you. He says, one last point to add in. I know that no other guys are in competition, but I have a funny feeling because it seems like slightly her level of attraction may have gone down in the way she acts. Well... Like I said, because she can tell that you're timid, you're shy, and as a woman sees that you're timid and shy, she's losing attraction for you, and that's why her, she doesn't try to keep the conversation going as long, and she's obviously not making as much of an effort as on the second date as she was on the first date. So you should pay attention to that. That should communicate to you that you've been fucking up. Because if you're doing things right, women want to touch you more. They want to be near you more. They want physical contact. They want to be close to you. He says she acts and has changed ever since she started seeing many guys this summer. So she's probably hooking up with other guys that act like a man and go for what they want. He says, I'm not sure whether they are just friends or dating, but I'm guessing just friends. Well, more than likely, if she's going out with other guys and these other guys are acting like men, and you already said yourself that she seems to be losing attraction for you, She's probably gonna is already hooking up with some other dude that's got the balls to go for what he wants. So let's look at this. Here's the last email from a third guy. He says, "Hey Corey, I've been dating. I've been reading a lot of your information online. It's been really useful. I want to know your insight on the situation I'm currently going through at the moment. There's a girl that I am currently getting to know, which a friend of mine introduced me to. I would say, on my part, I'm interested in her. Well, obviously, you wrote me an email." He says, however, I'm not so certain about the way she feels about me. We've only met face-to-face -face three times in the past three weeks, and in one incident with her the other week, we met up for drinks and hung out casually as friends with her friends. Well, after the first time you guys met, you should have got her phone number and called her a few days later to make a date, or you should have, if you had guts, you would have made a date with her right on the spot to meet her out someplace or, or pick her up in that case because you you have social proof with this girl because you're already hanging out with her and you have common friends but you, you go out on three three different times you hang out and you're not doing anything he says long story short we were dancing and almost kissed well that right then and there would communicate to her that you didn't have any balls to go for what you want that's not helping your case my man he says we have a good chemistry when we are face to face and her body language comes off as comfortable when she's around me. Since that, I haven't seen her since due to work and other commitments. However, we've been talking a lot over the phone, messaging back and forth, but I feel as though the conversation is dying. And I know, like you said in your newsletters, you need to only be using your phone for arranging dates for face to face interaction, not conversation blowing up her phone. Duh, so why are you violating what I teach? It's like 
you are further you're seeing it with your own eyes and ears that you're talking this girl right out of liking you chit-chatting in the phone and not making a move when you're together in person you could have hooked up with this girl a long time ago dude it's like come on man he says i'm just worried at the rate i'm going with conversation over the phone she's going to back away well it's obvious she's already backing away because you were too timid and shy to make a move when you were with her when you were face to face so she already knows you lack confidence and then you chat on the phone for however long it was an hour and obviously you didn't arrange a date there because you're it's like you need the crutch of all these other people around you which in essence all they really end up doing is cock blocking you he says also i had my friend who introduced us to dig out some information about me and she told me that she said i was a nice guy not a good way to go he says but that she wants to get to know me better and doesn't want me to get the wrong idea in other words i don't want him to think i'm interested in him romantically that's what that tells me he said, i would love your advice in the matter please let me know what you think well i wouldn't i wouldn't do anything with this girl well if you've got her number call her on the phone try to get her to make a date with her and if she won't do that then just say hey give me a call when you change your mind and then other than that, I'd be moving on to meet other people because you it sounds like you've already pretty much talked this girl right out of liking you because you've kind of become her therapist. You've become a typical nice guy that never gets anywhere other than a bad case of blue balls. So these are obviously three different cases of guys acting timid, shy, dithering, not getting the point, not going for the kiss, not making a move, not asking a girl out on a date. And all three of these guys, what they're doing is they're acting like friends. They're kind of acting like gay male girlfriends or emotional tampons, if you will. And you can see they're not getting anywhere. And it's obvious that these women are losing attraction for them when they're obviously, at least two of them, there was these women were definitely interested. The first guy, he was, it sounds like he was in friend zone from the get-go. But this is exactly the exact opposite of the kind of stuff that you should be doing. And this guy here, it's like he read my stuff. He knows what to do. But he's not doing it because obviously he's allowing his fear to diminish him and he's literally – because he's talking so much on the phone, he's talking to a girl right out of liking him, thus ruining his chances. So if you'd like to get my help personally, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions and I will talk to you soon.